Hello everybody, I'm back again with another video. Hope you're doing well, hope your life's going well, hope this week has gone well for you, and I hope that today has gone well for you. Today is Tuesday, March 12th, 2024. It is about 9.31 p.m. Central Standard Time, making this video kind of late, and I hope you enjoyed your Tuesday. I hope that this is a day that was an ordinary day for you, nothing out of the ordinary, um, unless it was something good, of course, then we can say we hope that it was out of the ordinary, but not for something bad, but yeah, hope you're doing well, hope that life has been treating you well, hope that you all are staying focused on whatever goals you have, and you're just making life as fun and productive as possible for you and your family. Let's talk about Cheez Its. Let's talk about these. I actually have two of these. I wonder, you know. I wonder if I should do a crinkle video with these. And let me tell y'all, the only reason that I have these is because uh, uh, someone gave uh, someone gave me these at my job, and uh, you know I'm nice, so I wasn't gonna like turn it down. But you know, anybody who watches this channel knows I don't eat stuff like this. And so what I think I'm going to do after this video is like give these away. I may give them away to the homeless. Um, I don't eat these, but it's like I don't want to throw them away. And the thing about it is, you know, I don't know. They make for a good crinkle video though, don't they? But what I do want to talk about is the ingredients in Cheez-Its, right? Cheez-Its, we all love these. We've all eaten these before. Um, don't tell me you've never eaten Cheez-Its before because I know you have. <laughs> but uh, you look at the way the packaging is, right? Um, this is an ultra processed food. This is something that's made in a lab. Um, y'all know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Those of y'all who watch this channel, follow me, this channel. Uh, you know, I'm going to go in on these. So, we have a marketing tactic right here. Made with 100% real cheese, as if that makes a difference. We know that cheese is not healthy. It's inflammatory. Let's see, cheese it baked snacked crackers. 210 calories per serving. So if you look at the nutrition facts, they don't really look that bad. I mean, it's, it only has 210 calories, 11 grams of fat, 2.5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, um, no cholesterol, 320 milligrams of sodium, 24 grams of carbs, less than one gram of fiber, that's not good, no sugar, and four grams of protein. So you look at this and you say, well, I mean, nutrition back, nutrition facts aren't that bad. I mean, but then we have to look at the ingredients. That's where it gets bad. So we have enriched flour. Let's talk about enriched flour, shall we? Enriched flour. That is the processed version of whole wheat flour, right? So it says enriched flour, wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron, vitamin B1, and vitamin B2. And those are two ingredients that were added back into the, the flour because... When you look at enriched flour, enriched flour is processed. Enriched, they've pretty much 
taken out the bran and they've taken out the germ. They take out the bran that removes the fiber, the proteins, and different um, minerals from the flour. And they take out the germ that removes the B vitamins and minerals. When you take out those two things, the bran and the germ, you're left with the endosperm. And from there, it gets processed to even more in order for it to like form pretty much a powdery substance and that takes out even more nutrients and minerals and so they then add back the B vitamins and iron but through all that processing a lot more of those minerals and that fiber were taken out and that fiber is extremely healthy those minerals are extremely healthy pretty much most of what they've taken out are the good things through processing in order to make it enriched and that's why you want to eat things with enrich not not enriched flour but whole wheat flour or some sort of whole food you don't want to get anything that's enriched because that means they've taken out all the good things and added back a few of the things that they like pretty much taken out already through the processing um, process and so that's the first ingredient on here enriched flour which means it's processed this is an ultra processed food by the way we have uh, next ingredient we have the uh, we have vegetable oil high oleg soybean soybean palm and or canola oil with tbhq for freshness so we have uh, ultra processed vegetable oils these are inflammatory and inflammation is the root for many different diseases and um, these highly processed oils they just turn into fat it causes you to gain weight um, you know saturated fats not healthy they uh, cause a clog of the arteries and uh, um, you don't want to do any of these processed vegetable oils no vegetable oils no seed oils and that's what's in this stuff that's what's in cheese it's um, that's why I say I, I I just I can't eat these like I say I I got these from work and uh, you know I, I want to be nice I would I don't want to say no I don't want them I'm definitely not gonna eat these they're good but I can't eat them. TBHQ, that is a preservative that is put in a lot of processed foods. A lot of processed junk foods have TBHQ in it. And it is a it is um linked to certain things, certain different like diseases and stuff. This is actually banned in certain countries as well. Um, TBHQ has a lot of issues with um, being linked to different things. And uh, they put it in these foods. That and BHT. I do believe BHT is also banned in certain countries too. Um, that's another preservative they use in a lot of these junk foods. Um, we also have, let's see, another ingredient, uh, cheese made with skim milk. So we have skim milk, whey protein, salt, cheese cultures, enzymes, amino extract color. Uh, cheese, it's uh, pretty high in sodium. Even though these aren't high in sodium, cheese in general usually has a pretty good amount of sodium in it. Um, it's inflammatory we shouldn't be consuming dairy at all dairy is linked to a lot of issues um, no dairy is linked to different diseases and so this uh, this snack here this snack here that was made in a lab of course we don't want to eat anything made in a lab and so Cheese it's don't eat them. <laughs> That'd be my advice. Don't eat them. Um, uh, I mean, at the, but at the same time, it's like I don't want to waste these either. That's why I said that I might give them away, like maybe give them away to like the homeless 
because I just don't feel right wasting food though but I, I just wouldn't eat these or you know what maybe I shouldn't give these away maybe I should go buy some apples oranges fresh fruits and give them away instead of this here because even for like a homeless person this is not gonna help them at all this is gonna like you know it, like this isn't healthy you want to feed yep you want people to eat fresh foods you want to eat fresh foods and so how would I look giving away these to somebody so that they can eat them with all these horrible ingredients instead of buying apples and giving them away buying oranges and giving them away you know buying fruits vegetables you know seeds you know just healthy foods and giving them away instead of this so I think I think that's what I'm gonna do and uh dang I'd feel bad throwing this away but this is nothing but junk you know I don't know I just was thinking about that I'm like why would I give this away you know instead of giving away actual real food that grows from the earth I don't know y'all I don't know but uh yeah I got two of these I will admit this makes for good ASMR crinkle sounds though so like I said I do hope y'all enjoyed your day let me know if this actually is giving you ASMR not sure Jesus. and this stuff this is just like all the other processed junk you know goldfish are the same way they got the whole you know whole list of junk ingredients in it too Ritz crackers the same way um, saltines um, Doritos chips I mean man have you seen the ingredient list for Doritos chips some of this stuff you can't even pronounce <laughs> Cheetos nothing but junk that's made in a lab and we don't want to eat stuff like that we want to eat real food we want to eat food that grows from the earth and that's all I preach just eat what grows from the earth not this type of stuff like I say somebody gave me this at work but I just I don't eat these and I'm just nice so I was like eh, I'll eat it <laughs> You know, but I'm not, like I say, I'm somebody that eats plant-based. Um, and I do encourage everybody to at least try out being plant-based. I'm not saying that you have to just be exactly like me or, you know, whatever. You know, everybody's different, but, you know, at least give it a try. I mean, you never know how you're going to feel. Once you go plant based, it might make you feel a lot better. But you have to do it correctly, though. Do not switch to the vegan junk food if you go plant based. So you're going to see a lot of plant based junk out there. I mean, these these vegan cheeses, these vegan meats, especially. I mean, I was in a store and I saw vegan hot dogs. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> And like vegan sausage patties, and it's like don't don't eat none of that processed junk. It's still processed junk. I don't care if it's vegan, if it's some sort of fake meat or meat replacement or you know something like the um, Beyond Meat. Don't eat none of that processed junk. It's not healthy, and health comes before anything. Your health, well-being. Physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, your health is what's important. So, don't jump on the whole, like, vegan junk food bandwagon because 
it's real i guess you could say it's trendy to just have like a bunch of vegan options but they're all junk foods but the thing is they can't replicate the foods that grow from the earth you know an apple an orange you can only get the real deal with that and so just eat what grows from the earth and that would be the best advice for your health that's about it for this video cheese it's <laughs> no I'm not gonna eat these I'm not sure I'm gonna do with these what should I do with these y'all let me know I got two of them <laughs> thanks for watching I hope you had a great Tuesday hope the rest of the week for you goes well and that's about it thanks